Hi again, all my crafty friends. If you are new here, I'm Dawn, and you have found Designs by Gaddis. If you enjoy DIYs, flips, and everything farmhouse, you are in the right place. On my channel, I love bringing you fun, simple, and affordable home decor DIYs on a budget. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. And if you like what you see, hit the bell notification and leave me a comment. Now for our first DIY. I had this mug in my stash and wanted to do something with it. I used painter's tape and started laying vertical lines out, trying to keep them as straight as possible. And then it hit me. The mug is smaller on the bottom, so the way I was trying to lay it out just wasn't going to work. So I removed the tape and just eyeballed the position and tried to get the lines as straight as possible. Once I finally got the pattern the way I wanted it, I used an old gift card to make sure the tape was pressed down well. I was trying to get as little bleed through as possible on the mug. I then applied a layer of Mod Podge. I used Waverly Maze Chalk Paint and painted the stripes onto the mug. Once the paint had dried, I removed the tape. I didn't like the way the paint looked on the handle, so I just scraped the paint off of the handle. I thought the mug was really, really stinking cute, but I thought the mug still needed something. Ice. It needs an ice cube. But how do I make an ice cube that won't melt? Hmm. Dollar Tree foamed ice. The same way you make marshmallows for hot chocolate. I used four Dollar Tree white balloons to cover up the dots on the dice cut out a cute little face on my Cricut and placed this adorable yellow stocking hat on the top. It was perfect. I actually did make the stocking hat for this and once I have it down well enough to explain what I did, I'll create a video showing you how I did it. So if you want to be notified when I upload that video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell notification. I think the mug and ice cube turned out so stinking cute. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't already, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to my channel. I upload weekly home decor DIY videos and you know you don't want to miss any of them. So go ahead and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, happy crafting!